What's up travelers? So I'm sitting here at Epicurus, pretty awesome restaurant here in Delphi, Greece. The view here is absolutely stunning. I ended up ordering a couple of things. I got a roasted cheese and then I got some goat. This is gonna be my first time having goat here in Greece, so that's interesting. I love goat and Mexican food, so hopefully I'll like it in Greek food. We just caught the very tail end of the sunset. I went back to my hotel after going to the archaeological park and I just zonked out for about four hours. <laughs> I just barely missed it. It's been a long day. I've already got over 16,000 steps in today. You, you want to come to Delphi and come check this city out. It, I mean, it's not even a city. It's just an itty bitty town. but. You only really need to be here for probably a day, day and a half to check everything out. But so far, the food's been great. I didn't record what I had for lunch, but I had a really killer uh, chicken savlaki, which just happened to be at the bus station. Uh, the bus station here is a pretty damn good restaurant. All right, so the first thing we got, we got our uh, appetizer, and what it is is it's a, it's a roasted cheese and it's called formila look at that isn't that just beautiful comes with a little bit of lettuce and a, and a lemon right, let's dig into this thing i don't think i've ever had this kind of cheese before try it without the lemon at first. Mm. Mm. That is good. It's, uh, it's similar to halloumi, but it's not anywhere near as salty. It's got the same kind of a flavor and tang only it's, it's a lot milder I actually think I like this better than I like halloumi and I really like halloumi let's give it a shot with some lemon here like our goat showing up so, right now. Like Alright, thanks. Oh man. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah. Mm. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and continue eating this cheese before I show you that.
pretty much the only thing I can say about this dish is wow. I mean, check this out. That is just a mound of meaty goodness. I don't even know what all is in there. Looks like we got some carrots and probably some tomatoes and peppers. And then we got these fingerling potatoes and even the sauce just looks absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to get into this one. <laughs> Alright. Usually I just jump into the meat, but I'm going to try one of these potatoes first. And this is the one, right? That thing is cooked down to about the consistency of silk and what we've all been waiting for here. You can tell that this goat was harvested today. Just the basil and the oregano that's in that. The, oh wow, so good. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but we're going to try it out. Well, that's definitely some sort of a cheese. <laughs> this dish just keeps getting better and better. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Everything about this is just amazing. The last place I went was Taverna Dion. And it's supposed to be the number one rated restaurant here in Delphi. Come here. Seriously. This that place was good, but this place is next level. This dish is tasting travel. General Greek hospitality. You always end up with a nice little dessert to end off your meal. Some sort of a cake with chocolate sauce. Mm. That's interesting. I don't think that's chocolate sauce at all. I think that might be a fig syrup. It's definitely a unique flavor. Go ahead and check this video out here. Cheers. To go to the most recent series that we have playing right now, Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle, you need a bag of bills. And as always, eat great food.